What's going on, fellow alchemists? Welcome to Quasar Astrology. Today, we'll be talking about the sun in the fifth house, what that means, how you can interpret it in your chart or somebody else's to get a more accurate reading when you're reading it. So, let's just get into it. So, the sun in the fifth house, what a position to have if you have it. Uh, because, what does the fifth house represent? The fifth house represents creativity and in many different spheres of creativity. So this can be your creativity through the artisanships, you know, being the artist. This can be the creativity through, through communication. This could be creativity through sex. This is sexual creativity in particular. Not, not, not necessarily the action of sex or the initiation of sex, which happens in the eighth house and ruled over by Scorpio. But this is the creativity, how you infuse creativity into your sexual experience. You know, the sexual experience of, of, of the amazement of it. You know, it's not just your general practice. It's not the type of mundane things. This is where you can have someone, if they have their son in the fifth house, who really infuses the beauty and the energy and the, just the pleasures and confidence. A very confident person in this part of their chart. This is also the part of your chart where you it signifies your first child. What kind of relationship you'll have with your first child. And with the sun here, you can have a, a situation where you have a very where you become a very confident parent, where you can have a very good relationship with your child. Because the sun represents authority, it represents governance, it represents confidence, it represents assurity, things like that. And those are and those are all good things to pass on to your child, especially confidence in today's day and age. So the sun, as I previously mentioned, is all about your real personality, the kind of personality that tends to hide until you've done enough of the work to break down the unwanted superficial personality and get more in touch with who you really are. This is the personality that really shines out where you'll find your most success, where you'll feel happiest because this is your beacon in the darkness. This is the kind of light and irradiating energy that basically washes away and purifies all the impurities in your life eventually. A lot of people don't live up to this sun sign until, they're, until later in their lives, to, until they've gone through specific progressions and stages in their lives. However, you can have a situation where you already exhibit some of these person, these, uh, this sun and solar personality into the world. So again, as I previously mentioned, you're now in the sign of Leo, the, 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 well, the house ruled over by Leo, and this is the fifth house. And again, you just bring that warmth, that confidence. You, become, you can become a real great artist here because you are exhibiting that solar energy. Of course, to understand what is the nature of your fifth house, always look at what kind of sign is sitting on top of your fifth house because usually you will exhibit a lot of that sign's energy in your fifth house. So if you have a Scorpio, if you have a Scorpio fifth house and you have the sun here, you will be very, very good. I mean, very good at sexual exploits. You won't just be able to initiate them, but you will literally possess your partner during their whole experience. So just be aware of that, that it's also about what sign is sitting on top of your house that influences the way your sun comes out, out of the section of your chart, but also how your sun expresses itself out of the section of your chart. So just keep that in mind. So with the sun in the fifth house, you're talking about the rulership of Leo. You took the sun rules Leo, Leo rules the fifth house. So the sun is very happy here. The sun is exalted here, which again is why in all those facets of your life, whether it's creativity, sexual creativity, whether it's with your first child, whatever it is that you need to do that has to do with the fifth house characteristics, you will be good at it. You know, you will have confidence in it. Of course, this depends on whether or not your sun is badly aspected and what other aspects or planets are sitting in your fifth house. And uh, aspects in your fifth house which could maybe change the kind of color and maybe smear it a bit. Or maybe it might perfect it more. But with the sun in the fifth house, usually you get a person who's exceptionally confident in the areas of life that the fifth house exhibits and affects. Remember the fifth house, the fifth house represents the heart. This is the point where you are just full of pride. And I'm talking about, especially with your sun here, honest, pure, authentic 
pride. This isn't the superficial pride that you see. This is authentic pride. Authentic pride in the matters at hand. Authentic pride in the matters in the fifth house. This is what the sun brings here. And it is a beautiful position to be, I mean, to have and to be around as somebody who may, may be involved with somebody with their sun in the fifth house. You just get that radiating energy. And if you are in a relationship with these people, well done. And you are in a lucky spot because these people will bring it. They will bring the enjoyment, their creativity. They will blow your mind and they will infuse their radiation, their radiated light and sunbeams into you. And you will have an awe-inspiring experience with them. So, fellow alchemists, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. It's one of the best placements for the sun, if not the best placement for the sun. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time when I do the sun in the sixth house. Until then, take care of yourself. I'll see you next time.